Hello, my friends, and welcome back. <sighs> Today, we're going to be examining some fat phobia in the world of academia. This isn't the first time we've heard of fat phobia at school from this particular creator, Splotchmaker. Don't worry, I'm going to replace these flowers soon. I like to get the full use out of them, let every single petal fall off. Fat phobia in academia. Another instance of fat phobia. I was trying on my bachelor's graduation gown. Doesn't zip. <gasps> Doesn't zip. I'm a size 26. Okay. So you're saying that the garment itself is participating in fat phobia. This is new to me. Now we've got inanimate objects that are judging you? What's that you say? I need to lose weight. How dare you? You know, when I start talking to inanimate objects, people look at me like I'm crazy. No refunds. No exchanges. It comes in one size. You just go by height. I even sized up a height. All right, so you are far too large to fit into the gown that is designed for people of your height. And this is somehow everybody else's fault. Bruh. This feels like more red flags that we should be paying attention to. Like, some sort of warning sign from the universe that perhaps we are going completely off the rails here. If you can't fit through the turnstile at the train station anymore, you can't fit into a normal desk, you can't wear the robe that they make for graduation. But anyway, yeah, no refunds, no exchanges, so I'm just out like $35, $40. And now I have to buy a third party. There is a cat hunting a bird outside of my window and it is so cute. You would think that if you were of a larger size, you would be used to going to the option of like custom or a third party gown or whatever. But anyway, this is really fucking annoying. It's basically just saying fat people don't belong in academia. That's right. If you can't fit in the gown, you can't graduate. <laughs> that would be funny if they were like, well, I guess you're going to have to lose weight and fit into that gown. Otherwise, you can't graduate. Sorry. You want the diploma or not? We'll see if that motivates you. I bet it wouldn't. You would all of a sudden decide, ah, I don't need that degree. Screw my hopes and dreams. I'm going to go eat a cheeseburger from McDonald's. We're not included in seat sizing. Fat people don't go to college. Fat people don't graduate. That's true. We're not included in seat sizes. Madam, a seat that would accommodate you would not accommodate me or the rest of us. So what do you want? You want an oversized seat just for you and the rest of us are sitting there like this? With our arms, like, not even reaching the damn armrests? Stop it. I told you before, we're not changing the world for you. Got it? Get that through your fucking skull. We're not changing the world for you. And again, I'm only a size 26. How many other people got this last minute? And well, I'm no expert on sizes or anything, but I think a size 26 is pretty darn big. She keeps saying it, like, like I'm only a size 26 and I can't even fit in there. Perhaps you don't understand how large you really are because you're so used to viewing the world through your own lens. Sometimes, only after we lose weight or something crazy happens, do we have the perspective to get a good look at ourselves from the outside. And just didn't have a gown. People will minimize this, as they minimize everything to do with fat issues. But these things show we aren't thought of, we aren't considered. Yeah, you know who else isn't considered? Everybody else. Why would we make special accommodations for fat people? Or for anyone else, for that matter. We have a society, damn it. Okay, you need to conform to the society, not vice versa. Now let us take a look at a bonus clip. It reads, My second grade teacher telling me not to hand out birthday invites because no one was going to come anyway. Your second grade teacher told you that nobody's going to come to your birthday party? And then right here it's playing some cringy music because we can't use our words anymore. Me, just wanting people to come to my Scooby-Doo party. All right, I don't believe that story for a second. And also, why does everybody have to use the audio from something else? They will always use like some song or even audio of someone else speaking or a clip from a movie show. On the screen, it'll be like, when fat phobia rears its ugly head, and then it'll just have somebody like mouthing some words from some stupid movie or something. I hate TikTok so much, dude. Use your words. Stop using stuff that other people said to represent how you feel. Use your own fucking words. 
Use your own original soundtrack words that came out of your fucking mouth. 90% of these people use these weird little soundtracks in the back where it's all like, no, that's not okay. That is not okay. That'll be like the audio, but on the screen it'll be like, when fat phobia comes around. Like, it's, you couldn't just say, I dislike fat phobia and I think people should knock it off. You always have to use somebody else's audio, some stupid song, some stupid movie, some stupid unoriginal crap that somebody else said or did. Everybody is so unoriginal it makes me sick. I hate TikTok. I hate it. Use your f***ing words, man. Be an adult. Oh yeah, I forgot to talk about the clip. Um, yeah, I don't believe for a second that her second grade teacher did that. This is the same person who said their lunch lady pulled the candy out and was like, You can't have this tubby or whatever they said in front of the whole school and then the janitor slipped on a puddle of pee and busted his head and then a bunch of firefighters came in and snickers bars fell out of the vents anyway we're just taking a quick look at a short clip today that about does it thanks for watching commenting liking and subscribing and i'll see you in the next one